Um, in today's video, we're going to look at how to look at um, people in G, G Army, especially when you are trying to do a lateral transfer and you're trying to look at the, um, the commander, the supply sergeant or the supply clerk of that particular company or that particular gain engineer that you're trying to do a lateral transfer with. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to identify their names and their contact number. Uh, in most cases, some of them, they don't have their email, uh, their, yeah, their emailing, emailing address or their numbers over there, but some people have their emailing address and numbers in the system. So you can look it up so that you can contact them and let them know, hey, I'm doing a lateral transfer with you. Because most of the time on the um, disposition directory, um, the numbers on there are the, uh, the ones for the PBO, right? And the one for the, the chief and the PBO NCO. So if you really want to get in contact with the, the unit you are doing the, uh, the lateral transfer with, this is how you can do it. So let's get into it. So we're going to use this T code right here. This is the T code that we're going to use. So you click on it, you click on the Malena folder, then you put in the company, the gaining unit UIC. And you check. Please choose the first one. Now here, what we're going to do is, as you can see, it's under the characteristics, right? Then right here, we want the authorized and actual personnel. So we're going to drop the folder, as you can see, you can see the command, commander, the commanding representative, right? Down here, you can see supply NCO manager, right? And you can see unit supply clerk, but mostly we put people under unit supply manager role. So you can drop that one. When you drop it, go to actual personnel. Then you can see the supply clerk for that company. So if you want to know their number, drop it again. Drop additional data, then go to user, drop that one. Then double click on the name. And right here, as you can see, the person's name and their email address right here. So you can actually pick up this email and email the person through um, webmail. In some cases, now we, we can also check um, the, the commanders. So we're going to check the commanders um, email, right? Then we're going to do it. So mostly you might not know who the commander is when you get under the command representative so you can just look through it can be the x or it can be the commander as you can see that's the person's um email address right there another thing that you can do is when you don't you're going to look at a company that ha doesn't have anybody's email address or anything so what you can do is you can pick up the person's name then put it through um sub business workplace that's the gme mailing system then you can use the name and send an email to GME to the person. It works that way too. That can be done. So when you go there and you don't see anybody's telephone number or email address, you can pick up the name and go through um, the sub business workplace. You can do a search by organization. After doing the organization, you can search for the person's name or you can search the name directly because everybody that uses GME has your name in the sub work business place database. So as you can see, the person doesn't have the email, so you can use your name, connect it with the uh, UIC, and you can find the person in the um, sub so uh, work, work business place. So when you do that, you can actually 
send the person's send send the person an email to GM. This person doesn't have his email tool in the in the system. So with this guy we have his email. But there's one thing that I want to show you. You can see the person's ID right here. You can use it to find the person or send an email to him to GM. So if you can, you can use the name, you can use that. But mostly people have different names, right? If people have the same names, you can have two people with the same name. So the best way to find the person through GM is their ID, which is unique. So with the ID, you can actually pinpoint the person and send the person an email to GM. So let's go on. So basically that is how we find somebody in GME. You can find somebody in GME through uh, this. Uh, especially when you're doing um, lateral transfer, you have the person's UIC. It's easy to find the uh, the NCO, uh, the supply NCO for that company and the commander for that company. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share. Um, more videos will be coming up soon, more tricks. I just have a few um, days to use GME, so I'll make all the videos I have to make so that I'll get to upload them and share the knowledge. Thank you guys for watching.